political vendetta or running away from a probe. Let's cut across to our Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson as well as Bharatiya Janta Party national spokesperson Shazia Elmi. Akshay Marathe join us. Akshay Marathe, once again, the question will come down to if there is nothing to hide, then why keep avoiding these summons? Face up to them and see what it brings you. Let the case unfold. Preeti, again, I, I would like to start off by saying that it is unfortunate that even today, we in the Indian media discourse are discussing the Enforcement Directorate as though it is an independent, neutral body that has a clean track record of investigating all corruption, all money laundering, and taking all cases to this logical conclusion, convic getting convictions in the court. But the reality is that the Enforcement Directorate has merely become a political wing of the Bharatiya Janta Party going after anybody and everybody who refuses to toe the line. And Arvind Kejriwal is the number one leader in that race who has refused at every occasion to toe the Bharati Janta Party line. On a lighter note, I, I, I would like to add that if Arvind Kejriwal had bought some electoral bonds of the BJP, perhaps the ED and CBI would have gone easy on him as the info electoral bonds data has shown us that several companies who had ED and CBI raids against them had those cases dropped after they purchased electoral bonds. So it is very clear that the ED is running an extortion racket for the BJP on the one hand, and on the okay. other hand, it is running a racket to destroy all opposition parties in India. It is a major threat to our democracy today. And I hope the people who are watching this show realize that it's very You know, Akshay no Marathi, before I bring in Shazia Elmi, let me ask you the second the question, BJP which the BJP also held a press conference with, pertaining to the charge of the ED's latest press release, which once again underlines the connection between the South lobby, headed by K. Kavita, and the Delhi lobby, headed by Manish Sisodia, and the incumbent chief minister, Arvind in Kejriwal with an exchange of 100 crore bribe. Akshay Marathi, the question's for you. I'm sorry, I thought I thought you said Shazia's name, so I, I was waiting for Shazia to speak, but that is a very good question on the 100 crore piece. No, as I bring her uh, in, because I, I'm going to... I, because... Let, let me let, let me quickly let me quickly answer a question. If you look at the 30th October 2023 judgment by the Supreme Court about Manish Sisodia ji's bail hearing, they say very clearly that the question of hundred crore rupees being paid as kickbacks is a matter of debate because the ED has not been able to present a single evidence about the hundred crore rupees paid. How was it paid? Who was it paid to? What form was it paid in? Where is the money? How did the money get used? None of these questions have been answered by the ED and the ED is, we are supposed to just believe the ED's claim that 100 crores were paid. Where is the evidence? Show us at least one. It's been two years, Preeti. Remember, two years since okay. the investigation is on. And not a single shred of evidence has been revealed by the Enforcement Directorate, as the Supreme Court has also acknowledged in their bail. Okay, bail I want to bring in. All right, okay. Allow me to bring in Shazia Elmi to this conversation. Shazia Elmi, other than what has been, uh, you know, the claim or the allegation of the Aam Aadmi Party that this is nothing but vendetta, where you are misusing agencies, when it comes down to the 100 crore bribe, because a press conference was held by your party today, which was exchanged between K. Kavita and the Delhi Chief Minister, because the same issue was raised during Manish Sisodia's arrest, and at that point of time, even the top court, as per the Aam Aadmi Party, or at that time, had said very clearly that there is no proof that this 100 crore or bribe exchanged hands? That is so not true, Preeti. Uh, uh, you're entirely wrong about it. The fact of the matter is that Mani Sisodia has been in jail for almost 11 months. Whether it's the Rouse Avenue court, which today said that Arvind Kejriwal must present himself in the Delhi Jal Board scam, whether it's the Sessions court or it's the High Court or even the Supreme Court, all of them have uh, withheld the opinion and the judgment that Mani Sisodia uh, should be behind the bars and should not be let out is only on account of the evidence provided by the ED and the other agencies. If that was not the matter, how would we know about uh, what Vijay Nair did and who, who made the phone call, the FaceTime call to Arvind Kejriwal? It's very easy for uh, Akshay Marathe and Atishi to act cute and innocent and say, what is it all about? But I think we all know what it's all about. It is a matter of 100 crores, which is why K. Kavita has been arrested, because there is a money trail in place. If you were to see the testimonies of uh, Dinesh Arora, Amit Arora, uh, Karthik, uh, uh, and the various liquor companies, 
you would know that there is a scam if you go through the records of the excise department you would know which is why manish sisodia first began the uh, the scheme to tweak it to make money and then retreat it so they were uh, on many levels they were wrong and on delhi jal board scam is another matter that's a separate matter arvind kejriwal happened to be the chairman of delhi jal board when a company was given a tender for in, uh, which was technically a uh, tech by technical specifications goes was not even eligible to get there also there was a scam of 21 crores but of course only 17 crores was used so i think the evidence is for everybody to see which is why now if even if you want to say ed is doing some extortion look at the language being used here uh, on you know some people might want to go with that but would the mm-hmm. judges of rao's avenue court sessions court high court supreme court all be into the extortion business i mean what are we hearing there's a limit to which you would stoop to to defend yourself and you know this acting very cute and saying what this all about they've not been able to prove mani sisodia is in jail 21 other people are in jail hello yeah, that yeah, is the evidence yeah, i saw the money trail is concerned these are testimonies okay. why would you try to destroy evidence because vijay nair is directly linked to kejriwal through their right. phone call you know, when the 100 out. crore okay. was being Shazia, given shaza allow me my dear right my dear friend okay miss me a, allow me okay. allow me to read out two parts one to you all right okay no 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 miss elmi allow me to read out two points uh, one for you and one for akshay marathe because both are part of what the supreme court has said where it comes down to the 100 crore uh, shazia elmi the supreme court quoted the assertion in the complaint filed that a kickback of 100 crore was actually paid by the liquor group is a matter of debate so this is what at least the supreme court has quoted answer that then i want to cut across and read yes. another excerpt yes, for akshay marathe shaz elmi it is a matter of debate but there is a, the fact of the matter is that manish sisodia has not been given uh, bail and has been denied that on the same charges also only if arvind kejriwal were to go to court and were to go to for, go for the summons and answer some questions which involve him would we even know more and you know it is it is what samit patra said and i would like to add no saman hai 18 bahane hai aur beshumar ghotale hai that is the asliyat of aam aadmi party can i can i respond all right okay i want to bring in akshay marathe back into this conversation uh, akshay marathe no, no allow me please uh, shazia elmi i read out to her the part where the supreme court has made it very clear whether the kickbacks happened um, it's a matter of debate so it's not established but having said that akshay marathe the same court on denial of bail to manish sisodia had said that the money trail in this has been tentatively established priti what the supreme court said is that there was a 338 crore rupees proceeds that they think has been established and let me tell you in very simple terms what that what that uh, framing was tomorrow if the government changes a policy and the india today group happens to make 400 crore rupees extra as a result of that policy does it mean that there is corruption in that policy no it means it means it means shazia mr me i'll come to you allow him i'll come right back to you for a rebuttal ma'am ma'am i don't heckle you like this ma'am allow and i will come back i promise to give you both equal time Okay Akshay Marathe every, make your point every, and I will cut across to every, Shazia Elmi for a rebuttal. Okay, let me make two quick points. Every government policy picks a loser and a winner. Does the winner give kickback to the government or not is the only question that is uh, uh, in question here. Did the liquor uh, group give any kickback to the Aam Aadmi Party? That has not been established as is very clear from the Supreme Court's own bail uh, uh, verdict. Now number 2 when the bjp very cutely says why is not why is, has uh, manish sisodia not got bail it is because section 45 of the pmla very clearly says that you are guilty until proven innocent which is the complete opposite of jurisprudence as has been followed in india in the past 70 years the bjp has come and changed the law in a way that says that until you are proven innocent you will be assumed to be guilty so unfortunately the courts of this country have to follow that law until okay. the section 45 is removed or the supreme court holds it unconstitutional and let me tell you july the supreme court is going to hear the case of the section 45 of pmla being unconstitutional so hopefully that this once the section 45 is out of the picture all of the leaders who are in jail right now okay. will get bail as is there right. right. can i come in please so i heard some uh, all right, some okay. but okay shazia elmi i want to come back to you go in for a rebuttal but also the 
Okay, ma'am, go ahead. Yeah, so Preeti, I heard a lot of uh, gobbledygook there. Obviously, uh, no concrete answers as to why Manish Sodia finds himself in jail and Vijay Nair and all others accused who are there, who very much has been, have been in jail and there were 20, more than 20 arrests. And also the matter of Delhi Jail Board when NKG, a company which is uh, not eligible to get a tender, has been given what it has been given. But let's, let's, let's not even go there. The fact of the matter is that besides uh, uh, copying the choice of my adjective cute, uh, which was plagiarized just now by Akshay Marathe. I mean, why is he trying to deflect the issue and not answer the facts related to the matter? The facts are the, 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 the giving of the co contract to a company, which is NKG Enterprises, the chief engineer being involved who has been arrested, the recovery of cash and assets in this case, as far as excise are concerned, it has been tentatively established which is exactly the reason why even the Supreme Court has refused bail. Not just that, Manish Sisodia has been, uh, his, dis his curative plea has also been dismissed. So there is, I mean, you know, you can blame ED and CBI to some extent. Okay. But will you go around challenging Supreme Court and all the, all the judges from, at, or from all across, you know, okay. from, at all levels, and only because you don't have any answers. You know, you have so much to say about everything, but when it comes to Vijay Nair, when it comes to Dinesh Arora, when it comes to the phone calls that were made and Vibhav's involvement, they all become quiet. They have nothing to say on merit. You know, as to what K. Kavita was doing there, what was the Southern Lobby doing there, why was the Mafia liquor there, why were the people who were part of uh, okay. uh, retail, retailers who were, were given the same, why were the blacklisted companies there and wholesalers and retailers were confused, why was the cartel right, encouraged? Okay. Akshay Marathi, please respond. Samir Mahindra involved. There's nothing to say. They just go, BJP is corrupt. BJP is using ED. Are bhai, what about Rao's I'll Avenue? Speak, uh, Shadia, stop speaking. Today? I cannot, I cannot speak Supreme over Court her, bench? unfortunately. Uska her heckling jawab heckling jawab bhai is mere. still continuing. <laughs> All right, one second. Can I, Akshay Marathi, please come in and respond. Miss Ilmi, please allow the same. Allow the same. Go ahead. You know, these are like broken records of the Bharatiya Janta Party. Every debate, they will come and see the same things. But when it comes to proving it in court, they're not able to present a single piece of evidence. Not a single Aam Admi Party leader in the last <laughs> 10 years has been convicted by a court of law for all of these allegations that the BJP keeps making. Then what are we supposed to do on national television every day discussing these random details that they bring up if not a single court of law is able to convict any leader of the Aam Admi Party? However, you have, a, you have the electoral bonds issue where 8,000 okay. crore rupees has been given to the Bharatiya okay, Janata Party okay, from contractors Excellent. who have got that big government contracts. Topic. Let me give you an there example, Preeti. Ma'am, please allow. Here, allow. He allowed you. Give him, give him that. Ma'am, he allowed Mega you. Go ahead. Mega Engineering got a massive Make your points contract 20 from the BJP seconds. government in Maharashtra and they returned the favor to the BJP by giving them hundreds of crores of uh, electoral bonds purchases. That is a real corruption that is happening in our country and we are discussing here for 30 minutes a hundred crore allegation which is not even being proved. And we have a clear link in the electoral bonds, but that is not being discussed. That is the tragedy of our country today. And unfortunately, people are watching okay. and they are feeling right. that frustration. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm, I've, I've run out of time, but okay, Akshay Marathi, I've run out of time. But, uh, you know, both yeah, points taken. Time, Having said that, the summon again for Arvind Kejriwal.